Greetings friends, I'm Flop, and welcome back to my Let's Play StarCraft II Legacy of the Void series. Uh, this is episode 6, and Zeratul just passed away. Oh, I love how many cutscenes there are. Zerg didn't even care, he'll walk through your dark gas. Oh, this dude. Not stuff full of combat power, I'm guessing. Oh, volume too loud. But this is going. Hi, Rock. We are en route to the Spear of Adun. As long as its generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the Spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. All right. So this seems easy enough. We didn't use the warp tour, warp gates to warp in five units with the 10 seconds. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, so let's go for it. And we need to activate all the power cells in less than 15 minutes. So time ain't on our side. Time ain't on our side. No, it's not. Speaking of which, have you ever seen the movie Fallen with uh, Denzel Washington? Uh, it's a it's a good. You have to watch it once. It's a good movie. Uh, I've watched it multiple times, but it does. It seems like it wears thin a little bit over time, but uh, really, really enjoyed it the first time. And the second and the third, I, you know, fairly enjoyed it. Okay. So let's defend our base with photon cannons. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. Heart of the Conclave. to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. And the Protoss always get screwed. Oh, they got the chick. Talus, Salindus. Amon's control. Carax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by Queen. Okay. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However. The Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. Okay. These 
These photon cannons can defend our nexus points, Hyrock. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of a Dune. Mm -hmm. Press the deploy pylon button at the top of your command screen. Mm -hmm. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation. But our first priority must be to clear the power cells of creep. Oh no, okay. Okay, getting my bearings. First game of the day, you know how it is. Building up troops. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to nice. warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. Okay, I'm seeing a nice combo here. Seventy-five energy? Is that how much energy? Okay. Mm -hmm. Building up, building up, I swear. Hmm. Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. Rally our defenses or whatever he just said. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. No. <laughs> oh, interesting. The shield recharger.
actually recharge the building shields. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Oh look, and there's mineral things. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hyrock. All right, we got this. 15 minutes it says, we're gonna wrap this up so much faster. Especially with this pylon deploy thing, that's pretty sick. is active. The spear's sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. Not a problem. Construct it. No. Who would have thought a lack of pylons would ever happen to me? Way to be jerks. Okay, that 
Zergling. is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. Night is worms. Our nexus from the south. How are we doing, guys? Oops, we're supposed to power board capes. Well, whatever. Fifteen minute goal, remember. Fifteen minutes. What? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I like it. So, oh yeah, okay, we got it. We got it. Shield batters are pretty good. Nice. All right, we still got a little bit of time. Maybe we'll get to play around on the Spear of a Dune. Thing is awesome. Doom, a marvel of Kalai engineering, at last of the three great arc ships. It's created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. Ships lower decks contain a star wow. capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel 
Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time, when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. Feel the power, Artanis. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax, and we will free the Templar. I'm in. Destination. Core Hall's where Zeratul said to go. Is lost once more. My great vision of reclamation left in ruins. This shall not stand. The Terrans of Core Hall have in their possession the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Mm -hmm. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns. I believe he will give the keystone to us. True. Rainer's a good guy. And this one we unlock the Immortal, which is an incredibly damaging ground assault strider, as it says. The Marazim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. Dark Templar are pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know what this was. A, hmm, Cahadron Monolith. Dark Templar rock, but Zeratul just died. So, um, Let's let's go here. Pretty sure that thing showing up in space is enough to make anyone Commander James Rayner. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Yay, Rayner. You seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Mm -hmm. Dire news. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition the Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. All right, guys. We have our mission. Before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. Ugh, wise. Uh, who does that? Okay, let's see. New conversation. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events and know there is a grander design behind them. Hmm. It don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The dark prelate fell on Ayr. His last hope oh, man. was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. 
always knew there was only one way this quest of his was going to end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. Yeah, it's Rainer. Yours. He always right makes now, the right though, choice. We got a city to save. Alright, let's hear what's Even up here. Without the caller's light, I can sense your sadness. The pain. Does the spear of a doom bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the caller, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. Ah, the whole Protoss race is oh, suffering no from existential crises. Think. The Dark Templar have endured this now, they don't have much facial expression to read. Obviously an evolutionary pitfall. We may not have the collar to rely on Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. All right, uh, let's get into the Ward Council in the next episode. I think we've gone um, long enough here. <clears throat> and I am really looking forward to seeing what cool things we get. I'm sure dropping pylons instantly is the least of my, uh, my newfound awesome call-down abilities. So, until next episode, farewell, my friends. <clears throat> Hopefully, I will see you.